Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a story time. Before I get started, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And um, also follow me on Instagram to stay more connected with me. And I post lots of like fashion content on there, like outfit pictures and stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to follow me on my Instagram. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight on into the story time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I just wanted to get on here and make a little story time about what's been going on, y'all. Like the craziest thing just happened. Um, say hey to Dior. Y'all, I'm so happy to be back home and to be with my little boy. So I apologize if this video seems all over the place and I'm rambling. That's just how I tell stories. I'm just talking to the camera like I'm talking to a friend. Um, so I'm sorry if it seems all over the place, but try to keep up with me, okay? So long story short, my family was going to Florida, um, to Pensacola, Florida, to watch my older brother do um, a fight. He does like mixed martial art fighting. So they were going to the fight. I've only been to one of his fights because me personally, I don't like watching fights. Um, I don't know if I'm like, I don't know. Like I know lots of people do, but like I don't like watching people fight each other. That's just kind of gruesome and I don't like stuff like that. But I was like, you know what? I've only been to one of his fights and I really do want to support him. And something happened with like school, like we we're gonna be closed on Friday and Monday. So I was like, you know what? I might as well go down to Florida, like for, you know, uh, two days, if anything, support my brother with his fight and I'm able to see my family because I haven't seen them since like November. You know what? It all works out. Like, let me go ahead and uh, book this ticket. And I also had a flight credit that was expiring in March. Um, so I was like, I might as well go. <laughs> Shoot, I might as well go. I booked my ticket and everything's good. Then I start looking at the weather down in Florida. The part that we were going to, it was showing rain nonstop. I'm like, yo, rain, are you serious? I'm over here trying to go to the beach. I'm trying to have some warm weather. Like I thought this was gonna be like Miami or something. So I'm over here packing bathing suits thinking it's about to be warm and stuff. But like it was raining the whole time we were there. And it was like the coldest it's ever been. Like even the locals were like, yeah, it's normally not this cold. I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna have a good time regardless it could be raining it could be snowing like we're gonna still have a good time day before my trip i'm looking at the weather here in houston and they're calling for like the snow but they were saying it wasn't gonna be that bad and in my head i was like man this isn't gonna be bad this is houston like there's there's no way that it's gonna snow like this so whatever like i'll be gone for a couple days i'll come in on sunday um before the snow starts that way i'm here um and it's all good so normally when i go out of town i have my my little cat dior normally i put him away in like a little cat hotel that way he's with other cats and he has other people there to help take care of him i know with cats like people tell me all the time like oh you can leave them in your apartment like they're good they can take care of themselves like as long as it's for a couple of days they'll be fine this time i was like you know i'm only planning on being there friday saturday and then i'm leaving sunday on valentine's day so i was like he'll be fine like i'm not gonna pay to put him in a hotel because literally I'll be back like he will be fine i was like you know what i'm not gonna worry about putting him in a hotel you know he he's a cat uh he could he could he'll be good for you know a couple days i'll leave him bowls of food bowls of water nice fresh litter box he will be fine my little carry-on and this time normally when i pack i overpack i bring so much stuff y'all like my family always laughs at me because like i'm always showing up with like a giant suitcase like i'm always prepared multiple socks multiple outfits just in case three outfits a day like i'm always packing extra because in my mind you never know what could happen right keep that in mind but this time the day before i left i had like a really bad stomach bug so I was really sick and I was just like tired, throwing up, like it was a mess. Like I was so sick, so tired that I was just like, you know, I don't have time to pack. Like I don't have time to even think about this. I'm going to, you know, pack the bare minimum. I'm only there for two nights, three barely three days so i'm gonna pack like really light i was just throwing like sweatsuits and stuff in my bag 
and this infamous flannel. <laughs> I love this flannel, but now I feel like when I look at this, I'm gonna think about this trip, like, cause literally I was wearing this the entire time. Also, when, like the day before, I was like not feeling well. So I was leaving work, I was so tired. Like I was like throwing up, like I just was feeling horrible. And I passed the grocery store. Something told me, you know, you may want to go grab a couple of groceries just in case it does snow. You may want to have some stuff for when you get back. That way you're not having to worry about going to the grocery store when you land. But I was so sleepy and felt so bad. I was like, I just want to get home. Like I just want to get home. And it was pouring down rain that day too. So I was just like, I just need to get home. Then I look at my gas tank and I had three bars. I never let myself go beneath three bars. Like I'm always filling up my tank. I passed the gas station. Something told me, go, go fill up your tank. Go fill up your tank. You live for the airport tomorrow morning. Fill up your tank before you leave. But I was like, man, I'm so tired. Like it's raining. Like I'll do that in the morning. Morning comes, you know me, always running late. So I'm over here rushing, trying to get my stuff together. I'm driving, I'm like, I passed the gas station. I'm like, yo, get out and fill up your tank. But I'm like, no, like I'm already running late to the, the airport. I gotta park, I don't know how long it's gonna take. So I'm like, I'll, I'll do that when I get back. I head to Florida. Florida was great. I had such a great time with my family. Then Sunday comes. I'm over here, got my stuff packed up, got my cute little air, airport outfit on, you know, ready to go. Cause I was like, you know, it was Valentine's day and I had like my little Valentine's day plans. Like I was hoping to come back here and you know, I had my little bottle of wine, gonna drink a nice you know, glass of wine, light my candles and just like really have a great Valentine's day. I had my little plans, you know what I mean? To celebrate Valentine's day. Hey, okay, I'm about to you know, go get brunch with my family. I, you know, I got my stuff packed up and my flight was leaving at like four o'clock. So I'm like, you know, it's gonna be good. Like, this is gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna eat brunch with my family, go to the airport, come back and enjoy my Valentine's Day. I was wrong. And I get a notification and it's like, um, your flight has been canceled. I'm like, what? They rebook my flight for the next day. I'm like, okay. But in my head, I'm thinking, wait, the next day, that's when the snow is supposed to start falling. So I really need to get back today so that, you know what I mean? So anyways, I thought that was weird, but I'm like, I'm not gonna let this ruin my day. Keep in mind, I don't have any more clothes at this point. I don't have any more underwear, don't have any more socks. I don't have any more clothes. I, I did have this flannel. It's like literally I was wearing this flannel the whole trip with like the sweatsuit. <laughs> I'll insert a picture. Like that was like my uniform for the whole trip. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pack my stuff up, go into the airport tomorrow morning. So, you know, I'm asleep. You know when you're like waking up out of your sleep? I'm like waking up, I hear my sister, she's like, Jess, Jess. She's like, your flight was canceled. I'm like, huh? Okay, the flight was canceled again. And now I'm like kind of starting to stress out because I'm like, okay, they canceled it twice already. My little Dior is in here by himself. Like, does he have enough food? Does he have enough water? So I'm like really starting to like low key panic. But when I feel myself acting like that, I just return to prayer and I just pray. And I'm just like, okay, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. I have to stay positive right now because if I stoop my energy down to that level of like worry and fear, like I'm about to have a horrible day. But yeah, so I was just like, are you kidding me? And so at this point, I'm like looking on Instagram and I'm seeing people are out of power, people are out of water. Like I'm seeing what's going on here. And I'm like, yo, my apartment complex is um, emailing me talking about like all the power's out, no water. Like, I'm sorry for like what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wow, my cat's in here in the cold. Like, I mean, yeah, he's a cat, like, but in my head, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So anyways, I was like, wow, so I'm stuck here for another day, but I'm like, on the bright side, at least I have time to spend with my family. So I go back to the airport, cause it's like, I can't get a hold of them on the phone. And like, this is such a small little airport in Pensacola, Florida, like you just literally walk in. So I walked in, I explained the situation to the lady again, and she's like, okay, we have another flight booked for you for Tuesday. And in my head, I'm like, all right, this flight better not be canceled because on Tuesday, that's when my family's supposed to go. 
okay that's when my family leaves so if tuesday comes and this mess happens again i'm really about to be stuck here in this random city in florida in this cold rainy weather all by myself like but i was like okay rebook me for for uh tuesday tuesday comes and i'm like okay so i wake up and i rebooked my flight and i'm over <laughs> I feel like I'm missing some parts of the story because it's starting to seem like a blur because of how on edge I was and like how many things were happening. But anyways, so Tuesday comes, my family is all packed up and their flight leaves at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And my flight back to Houston, <laughs> I'm sorry. My flight back to, back to Houston, I had a layover in Dallas and then from Dallas I was going to Houston. My flight, um was at 350. so i noticed they start kind of pushing it back it's like instead of 350, it's like now four o'clock i'm like okay so 10 more minutes okay four o'clock i'm like i'm still gonna go with them to the airport because like at this point they've checked out of the hotel i don't have anywhere else to go like i'm not like at this point i need to get home like i'm like stressed and worried about dior because it's like he's been alone from friday early Friday morning to now it's Tuesday. So I'm like, all these thoughts are going through my head. Um, I'm thinking like, man, like my friend's apartments, like their water pipes were bursting, flooding. And I'm like, what's going on in my apartment, y'all? Like, what's going on? I didn't seem to get back. And keep in mind, my car is now at the airport, like getting, I'm getting charged every day. I was only planning to be there for three days. And at this point, like the more my car is there, the more it's about to cost to, to leave I'm to the airport going through tsa um and waving off to my family <laughs> have a safe flight i'm like you know i'm about to go get some chick-fil-a i'm about to sit and chill until four o'clock when my flight leaves so i'm sitting here watching um vlogs and i'm eating my chick-fil-a and here comes a little notification from american airlines flight I don't know, 474 to Dallas, to Houston, canceled. Wow, are you serious? But the flight from Pensacola to Dallas was still going, but the time now was pushed to like seven, then it was pushed to eight, like it was just pushing more and more back. And I'm like, yo, so I'm not getting back home tonight. I'm gonna be here again. Cause in my head, I'm like, should I go to Dallas? and then try to drive back down to Houston. But Dallas was wor way worse, like, cause it was like really, really snowing. My, my mom and dad, my brother and sister, they just went up into the sky, you know? They just, they're on their way back home. And I'm over here in this airport, in this random city, all my family's gone. Like, what am I gonna do? I don't have a hotel, I don't have a car, like, I've been wearing the same outfit for the past couple days. What am I gonna do? So anyways, I go downstairs and at this point, y'all, I never cry in public. You will really never see me cry like that, especially in public. If I cry, I mean, I'm not saying I don't cry, I cry, but it's gonna be in my home, maybe in my car. I will never cry in public. There, there's just something in me that I can't cry in public. I just can't. When I tell you, when I went downstairs to the um, check-in and to American Airlines, I was bawling. Like my eyes, like I was just like crying nonstop. Like, and I was just like, <laughs> and I'm just crying. Like, I could not stop crying. Like I was like trembling, I was shaking. Cause I have all these thoughts going through my head. Like what, what about Dior? He's probably ran out of food. He probably doesn't have enough water. He's probably lonely. What is going on in my apartment? Like are the waters, like what's going on? Like this, that, this, that, this, that. What am I, where am I gonna stay? I need to get back immediately. What about work? Like all this stuff was going through my head. And so I'm just standing in that line crying and I get to the finally get, and it took them so long. And I was standing there for so long. Finally, it was my turn. I'm trying to explain to this guy and I can't really explain. He's like, ma'am, I can't hear you. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, this is not me. That's not me. I don't do that. Like I was that person in the airport crying. 
Um, so I'm explaining and the guy's like, man, like the next available flight is not until Friday, February 19th. It was Tuesday. He's saying the next flight out to Houston is not until Friday. I'm like, I can't wait until Friday. At that point, Dior might not be here. That's a whole week. No, 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 no. I came down here for from Friday to Sunday and now you're telling me I can't leave until Friday. What? He was like, you know, ma'am, your best option. He was really nice. Like all the workers at the airport were really nice. He was like, your best option is either, is gonna be either to drive, rent a car, drive there, or to take a train. And I'm like, so I'm looking at the train, like the Greyhounds, nothing is going down to Houston, nothing. And I go over, I'm talking to Enterprise, they're not offering any one-way rentals because everyone's having the same idea. There are people that were trying to get to Dallas that were stuck, like everyone is having the same idea of driving these cars one way. I call another Hertz location and um, they say that I can rent a car from them and it would be like $350 for a one-way rental. And I'm like, okay, bet. I'm gonna get there tomorrow morning so I can reserve this car and I'm gonna drive from Florida back to Houston. It was about an eight hour um, drive. And my dad, my mom, like they, my whole family, like I am so blessed to have such a supportive family y'all. Like, oh my gosh, like my dad, bless his heart. Like he was even saying, he's like, you know what? When I get back to Charlotte, like when I get back to North Carolina, I will drive back to florida to pick you up drive you to houston and then just come back to north carolina just so i can get back home and i'm like there's no way on earth i would ever let my my dad do that never i would just have to figure something out um but i was like for that even to be like a, as an option like that just shows like how supportive my family is and i'm just so blessed um but yeah, so I was just like, <sighs> my dad <laughs> was sending me links like he was gonna give me a U-Haul, like these like 12 foot trucks, 20 foot trucks <laughs> that you could rent from U-Haul. He was gonna get me one of those so I could drive back to Houston. I'm like, I don't know if I could drive a 20 foot truck, dad. Like, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> But I was willing to try. I went back to the hotel because I was gonna sleep in the airport, but my dad was like, you need to like, be out of that environment because it's like very negative and like you're in your mask like you can't breathe and um you might as well like get a hotel room to like relax get a good night's rest and wake up tomorrow morning with a plan like what you're gonna do so i'm like okay i will so i was so set like when i got to the hotel i'm like okay i'm gonna get some sleep i'm gonna wake up early i'm gonna get this car and i'm driving down to houston then i look at the weather ice storm i'm like yo i don't know if i could drive through an ice storm like what so i'm like i just start praying i'm like lord i know in my head my option like the best thing for me to do right now is to drive back that's what i want to do i don't want to wait days and days for a flight back but i was like praying that like for to open me up to open my mind so i can listen to like what I should do. Because sometimes I get so set in my ways, like if I want something, if I want something, I'm gonna make it happen no matter what. Like I get so set in what I want and when I want it and how I want things to work out. And I have to learn how to like sometimes give that, get like, get rid of that control and like hand it to God. And that's something I've been trying to work on. So then, you know, I eat my food. I'm like trying to relax. I'm like, okay, something told me, Jess, check American Airlines, like check some flights. Like, do you think you could find something? Like maybe you could find something earlier than um, Friday because that just seems ridiculous. Like there's no way, no flights are flying in. But I mean the airport, the Houston airports were closed, but I'm like, there's no way that the airport can be closed all the way until Friday. Like I, I, I doubt that. I am like looking online and I see a flight pop up for the 18th for Thursday. I'm like, oh, bet. I like um, secure that one. And I'm like, okay, that's a little better. We're getting closer, but let me see if I can find something that leaves the 17th that leaves on Wednesday instead. 
So I'm like looking online, I don't see anything. But something told me I was just about to go to sleep. And something was like, call, call. Because when you call them, it's like they see more than what you can see online. So I call and I'm so blessed to have like gotten through to a great um, American Airlines rep. She was so nice, um, worked so fast. She was like, I ma'am, she was like, I found one last seat on this flight leaving from Pensacola to Miami, Florida and from Miami to Houston at 7 a.m. And you'll get into Houston at noon. I was like, perfect. She got me on that flight and I woke up prayed because I'm like, yo, I cannot, this flight cannot cancel again. Like I have to get back. Like this cannot cancel again. But part of me was afraid because I'm like looking at the weather and at this point it's snowing again. And I'm like, should I even get on this flight? Because what if I get stuck in Miami? Like, yeah, you know, Miami, I'm trying to spend my birthday in Miami this year. Like Miami is beautiful, like, hey, but not in these conditions, you know, I'm, I'm walking around <laughs> in this flannel. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not in these conditions, you know, I'll see you in May, Miami, but like, I don't, I can't be stuck in Miami right now. The airport early, all this stuff was happening y'all that morning. Like I was like prayed up and all this, like these attacks were happening from like the people at the hotel with these attitudes, the guy with the bus trying to smoke his cigarette instead of driving me to the airport. Like all this stuff was just happening. But I'm like, I'm not gonna let this get to me. Like I have to really have a strong mind today and like a faithful spirit today because I'm gonna, I was like, by the end of today, I will be in Houston, like period. Finally, I get up there. The lady at boarding um, us on the plane, she had an attitude. She's like, we may have to check your bag, like my little carry on. I'm like, yeah, I can't have this bag checked because if it's checked to my final destination in Houston and I end up getting stuck like in Miami because this flight canceled again, I'm not gonna have nothing. Like I'm not gonna have anything. All my stuff is in this carry on. Luckily she didn't have me like check it. I was able to bring it on the plane. But I'm like, yo man, if it's not one thing, it's another. I get to um, Miami and I am like booking it because at this point, like this connecting flight is like, leaving in a couple minutes and I'm just like booking it. I'm having to like walk super fast, taking like two trains just to get to this gate. I get to the gate, they're boarding my group. I'm like, whew. And everyone's like standing in line, like nervous. And there's like commotion going on at, down at the bottom near the plane because they're like, are we gonna really fly in? Like the conditions there are bad. Like they were like debating. And I'm like, yo, can we? Like I need to get home. Gates and we're able to walk in, board the plane, but then we're not moving. We were supposed to leave at 1025 and it's not moving. So I'm sitting there, everyone's like, everyone on that plane were dealing with the same stuff. Like, man, I've been trying to get home since Sunday, since Monday. I had to fly from Charlotte to here. Cause this was, the, this was the only flight. This was the only flight in American Airlines that was flying into Houston. The only flight, the first flight flying into Houston after the storm. So, Everyone's like, but the runways are probably ice, like it's snowing right now, da, da, da. I'm like, can we just get up in the air? Can we just go? Like, I just need to get home. Like, I, I need to get out of Florida at this point. Like, I need to get out of Florida. Like having all these maintenance issues going on on the plane. Like they would fix one thing and then be like, oh, but we saw this. Then the pilot was sounding nervous at first. By 12 o'clock, we took off, got in the air, um, the turbulence was like, you know, a little shaky. And like the whole time, like the people, the workers on the plane, like the flight attendants, they were making me so nervous. They were like, buckle up. The turbulence is about to be bad. Like buckle up, like the turbulence, like da 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 da. Make sure you have your mask. Like, and I'm like, yo, is it gonna really be like that? I know I said I wanted to get to Houston, but you're talking about using, like pulling out the floaty. Are we gonna be swimming in the Houston? Or are we gonna be flying out the air into Houston? Are we gonna land in Houston? Thank you, God, like we were able to land safely. I was able to drive back home. Um, and now I'm with my little boy, Dior. He did run out of food, he was starving. Um, I, like, I filled his bowl up when I got here and he like gobbled that up so quick. Um, so yeah, he ran out of food. He did still have water um, and he just, even right now, like he's so scared. Like last night, like he was just like, 
meowing all night. Like you can tell he just was isolated for too long and he's really sad, but that's why I'm so happy today. They canceled um, obviously school for the rest of the week and I've just been trying to stay in here and spend as much time with the Dior. Um, the gas situation, all gas stations around here are out of gas. Uh, my gas light turned on as soon as I got into my apartment. So I'm gonna try to walk up and try to find like a gas station around where I can get one of those little tanks. Um, and um, as far as food, don't really have much food in here, but luckily one of my friends is going to pick me up some time today to go get some food, go get some supplies and stuff like that. Um, but with all that being said, I'm so happy to be home, so blessed that I have um, heat right now, have water right now, and I'm just praying for everyone else in Houston that does not have shelter, does not have water, does not have electricity still, dealing with leaks and stuff like that. Um, we will get through this together, um, but yeah, I just wanted to get on here and share what has been going on the past couple of days like it's been fun like I, this is like a dream or something like a little like what the heck like the moral of so like a nightmare kind of enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did comment down below make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel and i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video bye guys